Let's walk you through the updates for eDrawings in 2018. So we'll actually start out in SolidWorks for this one and you can see that we have an assembly on screen here and this has got a couple of decals on indicating the labels that would be applied to these batteries. Now in previous releases of eDrawings what we would find is that these decals would not necessarily display if we sent them over to uh, a colleague. They would only display if the decals were included locally on that person's machine. So what we can do within the document properties of uh, a model now is we can choose to store the appearances and the decal information in the file. So what we find when we go over to eDrawings is the model looks much more like we expect. One of the other things that used to be a little bit difficult to know was whether a markup had been applied to a file. We could always review the markup section and have a look at them but it wasn't clear if they'd been applied in the first instance. So if we look towards the bottom now, you'll see that the markup carries a little exclamation mark if a markup has been added. So we can just select on that and choose to show it on screen. Now the eDrawings interface has had a bit of a rejuvenation over the last few releases and 2018 is no different. We see the introduction of the open, save, print and settings dialog directly along the top. You also notice that we have a tabbed arrangements to the documents, so if we want to add a new document we can just click the open dialog box and select the file we want to open. Now if you blink you might have missed that, but there is a little progress indicator that appears on screen so that eDrawings is telling us how we're getting on opening the file. So a progress indicator very similar to what we get over at SolidWorks level. What we also see in this release is that the graphics performance has been uh, increased, so it's now taking advantage of the latest graphics technologies. If you go onto the options page, just ensure your system is set to graphics boost and fastest speed to take advantage of this. If we switch back over to SolidWorks now, uh, we'll take a look at another file here. And this is a file that has had some PMI added to it using MBD. Now within MBD not only can we add the PMI to the file but we can also choose to create and capture 3D views to save this information away. You'll see some examples of these shown towards the bottom. These 3D views are actually switching configurations as well. Now if we use the output to eDrawings button directly from this window there's a couple of new options here. One is that we can choose to add a step file attachment directly to the eDrawings file and the second one within here is that we can choose to password protect the document if we want to. Now if we switch back over to eDrawings and take a look at that file here you'll see that all the 3D views are now available to us. So just towards the bottom here if we click on 3D views and select one of them you'll see they each open up in turn. Now eDrawings is only displaying us the 3D views that are available for the configuration that's active but if we click show all here it will show us all the uh, views for every configuration. If you look towards the bottom the configuration that's selected is showing here as well so there should be no more confusion uh, regarding that type of thing. Now again over on the right hand side if you look at the attachment options you can see any step file attachments that have been added are now visible from within here. So I can choose one of these, I can choose to view the file on screen, I can extract it or I can delete it from the eDrawings file. Let's review what we've seen. So if we go back to our PowerPoint here we can see decals can now be stored in the part file, the UI has had a refresh, there's increased graphics performance. We can also choose to output step attachments on export. Files that contain any uh, PMI information can now be read directly into eDrawings as well. And we also have an open progress indicator. Our next video is on SolidWorks Composer. Mm -hmm.